Hello Aquarius, thank you once again for joining me. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly read. We're going to dive on in and ask the tarot and the oracle cards here today about the one who is jealous of you. So if you want to know more about this person, who, who it is, why they are and what you can do about it, stick around. Do keep in mind though, Aqua, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. So with that, maybe some of the messages that are coming through uh, resonates. Maybe for some it doesn't and that's totally okay, right? Uh, if you do find that it does speak to your current situation, then feel free to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button, guys. It, it costs absolutely nothing for you to do that and it also lets me know that you enjoy this style of reading and that you enjoyed the read. For those of you who um, would like to see more of my reads moving forward, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And to those of you who have subscribed and you continue to show up here week after week with your support, I just want to give you or shower you with a some appreciation because I really do appreciate you guys. Um, if it wasn't for you, like this channel wouldn't be where it is. So let's dive on in and start with the animal spirit cards to see who this person is that may be jealous of you. Okay, so we've got the swan spirit coming through. The downward pointing triangle speaks to water. So this person could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this person... I feel like there's two sides to this person. Because when I look at the swan, I see two swan images. There's definitely two sides to this person. I do have to say that this person who is jealous of you is very superficial. They're very superficial. They're all about their looks. They're all about how they appear to people. Um, there's almost like an element of nothing is out of place with this person. Okay? Whether it's their looks, whether it's their home. I mean, you probably walk into their home and like everything is absolutely immaculate and in its place and there's no dust on the shelf. You know what I mean? Like there's an element of this person that's perfect, but it's a facade. Deep down inside, this person is very insecure. And you know, Aqua, you're very, you might be the type of person that's very comfortable with yourself. You know, you're free to just be who you are. You are authentic to you, but this person is envious and jealous that you can do that. That with that comes a sense of freedom. Um, deep down inside, this person is very insecure. That's why they have to make sure that a hair isn't out of place or their makeup is absolutely perfect. I mean, this person probably walks out of the house or never walks out of the house with a face full of makeup. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is what I'm getting to explain this person's character um, and image, right? Um there's a sense of control or the need to control other people. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Let's see what else is coming through. Oh, the cards really want to speak. We've got the bee spirit coming through now. The upward pointing triangle does speak to the element of air. Could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I feel like this is someone who you might work with. Or it might be someone within your social circle because the B is the B represents someone who is a team player. Okay, this person may work in a team environment, or they may have a very large network of people. Or maybe you do. Maybe you're that person. Maybe you're the B because this one is looking at the B, and maybe this is why they're jealous because you have this ability to work with the community to work in a team environment, you're a team player, you're a hard worker. I see the bee as a very hard working individual. You might be a very sociable individual as well. Whereas I feel like this other person is very closed off. Um, there's an unfriendly vibe with this swan, like this swan is uh, unapproachable. Yeah, unapproachable. And we've got the raccoon. Okay. 
this person wears a mask. Because even in this image of the raccoon, you know, it looks like they're wearing a, a, a mask here. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, I'm getting strong work vibes. Could be someone within the family network as well. Um, but yeah, I just feel... I'm almost getting to here, depending on what other cards come through, you might not even know that this individual is jealous of you. You might be coming in here feeling, oh, curious as to who might be jealous of you because you might not be none the wiser. You might be just coming in here for a little bit of entertainment, but there is someone there. They're just not making themselves known. Let's just see what else comes through. Spirit angels and guides, what other messages do you have for our aquababes in regards to the person who is jealous of them? Okay, I'll take this one. <laughs> the devil. The devil. <laughs> Could be a Capricorn. Um, I feel like this person may have a shopping addiction, but there is addictions tied in with this person. Um, I feel like this person is obsessive compulsive. They may even have OCD. Okay, yeah, this person is quite over the top. Yeah, very, very much OCD like. We've got the Father of Wands here. We've got Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm feeling like because this Father of Wands is sitting underneath the bee, and I almost feel like the bee is your energy. You've got a very beautiful entrepreneurial spirit. You're a very determined individual. Um, when you set your sight on something, when you have your vision um, in front of you, you kind of like achieve it, you go for it, you make it happen. Um, or it could be that this person who is envious and jealous of you is the entrepreneurial spirit. Okay, but I feel there's deception with this person. Like they present one way to the outside world or to the public, but then they don't align with whatever message they're sharing to, with the world or, yeah, just something just doesn't line up here because the devil's telling me so with this person. There's an arrogance that comes through with this person. They might even come through very cocky, very sure of themselves. Yeah. This is an individual that's a taker. Four of Cups. See that rat? See that rat? That rat is covering all those entry points of these cups. This person is not a giver. And this person is not to be trusted. Yeah, I'm getting taker-like energy. I don't know, when I see this Four of Cups, I always think it's a taker. This is not a giver. And they're even very distant with their emotions here. They don't have anything to give emotionally. So this person would kind of like struggle to compliment you. They might see that you're doing a job well done, but this individual wouldn't compliment you and say, and pat you on the back. You know what I mean? Like they just wouldn't do that. Because their ego, pride. So let's grab an archetype card for the advice card of what you could do 
or, or what you can do or what you should do with this individual. You've got the self here. So this person is a very selfish person. They only think of themselves. So the advice with the self card is to, because I'm seeing a pearl here sitting right at the, like in the heart chakra area. What you need to do, if you know who I'm talking about, Aqua, you need to look within and know that you are beautiful. You are special. You are unique. You have your own unique set of gifts and talents and wisdom within. And this is almost like with the self here, it's like, you need to almost see your worth and your value, okay? Um, and maybe you do. Maybe that um, this is why this individual is jealous of you because you are working on yourself. You're working on the broken parts of yourself, right? And you're also, um, I feel, Aqua, you're also accepting the broken parts of yourself, whereas this person cannot accept their broken parts or their flaws. Like, they have to show up as perfect. Whereas you, the best advice here is just to keep focusing on you, keep shining your light, keep doing you. I am seeing a shadow in the background. So you accept your flaws, you, you accept your strengths and your weaknesses, right? And I feel like the advice here is just to keep doing that. Okay, put yourself first. Um, the self card would also indicate, indicate uh, laying down healthy boundaries. So especially if this individual with the devil card is coming in and, and behaving in a way that is very disrespectful uh, or in a toxic way, then you would need to put yourself first. See that pearl? You're important. You're important, Aqua. And you need to value that side of yourself and go, no, I am not going to accept this devil energy from this person. So therefore, I'm going to put a boundary up. So that's all I have for you, beauties. I hope you enjoyed this read. Uh, don't forget to let me know, of course, that you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care, guys.